Hi, I'm Marla Silly, and welcome to Fly Lady TV. We're so happy that you jumped in where we are. We are continuing to practice our new habit of keeping our sink clean and shiny. Clutter is leaving our home one bag at a time, and we are celebrating each baby step as we take it. Today, we're going to give you some tips to keep you motivated. These tips work for all of you. It doesn't matter if you go to work every day or you stay home to work. If you are retired or a brand new parent, we have simple tools to help you get things done around your home. You're going to be ready for anything. Let's sit down for a minute and I want to tell you how I learned these things. Many years ago, after a change in my job, a death in the family, and a divorce, I found myself not feeling very good about my life. In fact, I felt like a failure and became depressed. I'm very thankful for good friends who saw the change in me and took me to a doctor. They recommended that I go into treatment for 10 days. This was quite an experience for me. I was rooming with two women who I thought had it all together. Their first assignment was to give me a makeover. I had checked into the hospital with stringy, oily hair, sweatpants, and no makeup. I was messy and had no desire to get dressed, fix my hair, or my face. I felt frumpy because I was not taking care of myself. This assignment opened my eyes to how important getting dressed each day is for me. When you feel good about yourself, it doesn't matter if you weigh 100 pounds or 300 pounds. Getting up each morning and putting on clothes that you feel like a million bucks in is going to help you feel energized. When you stay in your pajamas all day, you're living in chaos. That's can't have anyone over syndrome because you can't even open the door. You hide when the doorbell rings because you are embarrassed. I was a barefoot girl when I decided that I wanted to live a different way. I had to make some changes. As part of my morning routine, I put on a simple pair of lace-up shoes. They had to be tied to my feet so that I didn't kick them off. Shoes are a big part of feeling energized. Shoes tell your head that it's time to do something. I can't wait to hear your family's reactions to you being dressed to shoes. When you have your shoes on, your children are going to notice. They will be tugging at your pants saying, Mommy, where are we going? Even your fur babies are going to get excited when they see you put your shoes on. They're going to come running with the leash saying, Let's go, let's go for a walk. When you have your shoes tied to your feet, you are going to be ready for anything. Getting dressed to lace up shoes, fixing your hair and face is going to help you feel good about yourself. But the best thing about getting dressed first thing in the morning is when you walk into the bathroom during the day. You don't scare yourself by looking at your chicken hair in the mirror. <laughs> now here are those tips I promised you. Number one, and the most important part of the day, is pick out your clothes the night before. Put them on a hanger in your bathroom so you have no decisions to make in the morning. Put a post-it note on your mirror with a reminder to get dressed to shoes and fix your hair and face. Number two, get up 15 minutes before the flow of the family. This will give you a head start on your day. You will be putting yourself first for once in your life. I like to take a bath in the evening, so all I have to do is wet down my chicken hair in the morning. Number three, the minute your feet hit the floor, start getting dressed. Do not stop and go make coffee or get sidetracked. Getting dressed is your focus. As soon as your shoes are on, you can make your coffee. This whole process takes about 15 minutes. Yes, you can do anything for 15 minutes. Even get dressed to lace up shoes. I have heard every excuse in the world for not doing this, and I have an answer for each one. Getting dressed first thing in the morning is going to make you feel like you have more time in your day. With each habit you practice, your stress level is going to go down. 
If you keep doing what you've always done, you're not going to see the results you're looking for in this new year. Step out in faith with your shoes laced up and feeling like you're ready for anything. I'm Marla Silly, the Fly Lady, and my shoes are laced up. Come join us next time on Fly Lady TV, where we will teach you how to use the most important tool in our toolbox. Are you ready to fly? Well, my sink is shining, but I'm not whining, I'm flying. I'm just a baby stepping and I'm not obsessing, I'm flying. I got my list of things.